Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the Book of Forgiving, the fourfold path for healing ourselves and our world. The book begins with the following story. He had many wounds, Mrs. Mawuli spoke with the precision of a coroner. Her husband was cruelly stabbed to death by a group of people. He had five wounds in just his upper abdomen and some in the lower part as well. In total, there were 43 wounds on his body. The perpetrators also poured acid on his face and chopped off his right hand. This was Mrs. Mowoli's testimony of the murder at the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. The commission members were struck by a wave of anger and nausea due to Mrs. Mowoli's statement about her husband's tragedy. Mrs. Mowoli's grief and desperation were almost unimaginable. Next, 93-year-old Babalwa began to speak. Her father was killed when she was eight, and her brother was only three. Since then, she and her brother faced constant harassment and hardship from the police. But what she said next astonished everyone present, I would love to know who killed my father, so would my brother. We want to forgive but we don't know who to forgive. These testimonies were given at the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, which was established with the aim of healing the nation's wounds. People who chose to come to the hearings were all looking for healing or repentance, because they were fully aware that hatred, pain, and revenge can never heal wounds. Only forgiveness can. Forgiveness means not only forgiving murderers and thugs, but also forgiving ourselves. It can bring real inner peace and freedom, which is also the intent and purpose of this book. This book was written by the Nobel Peace Prize winner and South African Archbishop Desmond M. Tutu and his daughter Mfoe Tutu. Desmond M. Tutu was elected as the Anglican Archbishop of Cape Town in 1986. Nine years later, he was appointed by the then South African President Nelson Mandela as the Chairman of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Tutu's exceptional wisdom and his thoughts on forgiveness transformed post-apartheid South Africa into its brand new image, as the Rainbow Nation. Mfoe Tutu is an experienced missionary who also teaches and writes. Due to the influence of her father, Mfo Tutu has always been interested in exploring the path to forgiveness and even wrote her Ph.D. thesis on it. Rainbow Nation refers to a nation where people of diverse racial and ethnic backgrounds and skin colors, whether they are black, white Asian Arab, or Indian could all integrate to form a beautiful rainbow. They could live together in the newly born beautiful South Africa. The influence of Tutu's thoughts and generous heart goes beyond South Africa and across the whole world. The Book of Forgiving, The Fourfold Path for Healing Ourselves and Our World was another life-changing healing work by Desmond Tutu, following his book No Future Without Forgiveness. It was also highly recommended by Nelson Mandela. In the face of the harm and grief caused by apartheid and the pain of losing family members, how can we begin to heal our inner wounds? This book is a practical guide to healing ourselves and the world. Of course, it should be made clear that the forgiveness in this book is neither moral coercion nor self-deception. It is a series of orderly and principled healing guides and a fundamental approach to healing ourselves as well as the world. In this bookie, we will walk you through the path to forgiveness in the following three parts. Part 1, Knowing About Forgiveness. Part 2, The Fourfold Path to Forgiveness. Part 3, All Can Be Forgiven.